Hey guys, it's me, a little Sir Fetched, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Randomized for Fetched Run. In the last episode, we beat our first ever gym in this game with only a level 23 for Fetched. We also kind of cheated in a double battle, but I couldn't help it. So today, we are continuing to flow aroma town, I think is what the next town is called. First, we have to traverse through here, and we'll be on the other side to flow aroma town. I checked, I even checked in the waters, I fished in the water, and I only found nothing. Although I did find the evolution of Grottle. I think I found Grottle in a route, and I found Turtwig before, and I found Torterra. So, chalk that up to another evolution line that we found completely in this game. And it's a starter evolution line, which makes it even better. I think, actually... Okay, they blocked it off. So, I'm gonna grab the berries over here. I also picked up an item, which I think I might use. Just... No, I don't want to... I don't want to play as berry. Okay. I picked up this. The Quick Claw. No, 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 don't you throw that away. I'm gonna give it to Fetch, just because I think it'll be more useful to him. I don't know how slow a Farfetch'd is, but I don't know how fast it is either, so... We're just playing on the safe side. <clears throat> oh, look at that, my team is ready to go. So, let's go to the next route. Let's see what kind of stuff that we have there. Actually, would they have great potions? Would they have great balls yet? They might have great balls. No, but they have super potions. I'll actually buy some of those. Let me sell... Let me sell some things. I'm going to sell all my potions because we're replacing them. Uh, let's sell some of these TMs. Substitute, we're not using. I, I said so. Uh, curse, we're not using. I don't think I can use it anyway. And we can't use Bug Buzz. Uh, let's sell the Power Band, because we're not using that. And let's sell one of these, but I'll keep the other one. And we'll also sell this, too. Let's just buy a ton of super potions. Oh, let's buy ten. That should be enough. Do I have vibes yet? No, I don't. Well. Now we're full of items. Well, we're ready to go. Is that an orange berry tree? It's just a berry. What's this one? Petcha Berry. Don't need the Petcha Berry. Oh, there's a girl. Help, help, trainer, please. I want to see my papa. My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks. But then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out, and they're making my papa do something. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. Well, okay then. I will help you out. First off, let me grab this here. Another pure incense. Looks like I have a ton more money. <clears throat> Let me actually find some Pokemon here. I would have gotten a legendary Nuzlocke encounter right here. Ugh, it's Palkia. Ugh, I hate Palkia. Let's see what other encounters I can get. A Lanoon. That's cool, but not necessarily the right normal type. <laughs> sea King. I think it's flying. Is it water flying? 
I think it's just water type, but I know it has some flying moves. It's probably water, just water type. I don't have my phone next to me to check. So, so far we found Legendary. We found Lanoon and Sea King. We're gonna check three more encounters. We'll see three more encounters. Ooh, a Gengar. That'd be cool, Pokemon. Okay. That's another evolution line. So, in between episodes, I think in one of the episodes we encountered a Gengar, a uh, Ghastly, in one of the routes. In between episodes while fishing, I found a Haunter. And now we found a Gengar. How many evolution lines are we just going to fully find before we're done with this game? We found Scyther, Torterra's evolution line, Charizard's evolution line. Shoot, what other ones have we found? Muck's evolution line, and then we just found Gengar's evolution line. One more encounter. We're done. We'll go figure out what to do then. Lanoon. I'll check in between episodes, see if there's a far-fetched here. If not, then that really sucks. Hello, Mr. Sir. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windmarks. I got ordered to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes you think you want to go in. Okay, then you'll have to battle for it. I like Team Galactic's battle music. It's really good battle music. Drifloon. Would you normally have a Drifloon here? I don't know, because Drifloon can spawn here. I think it's like every Friday? Ooh, that. I forgot you had Aftermath. I mean, I don't know if it's going to spawn. I mean, it is Friday. And I'm recording this, so either I can't do it because we're at an event right now, or it doesn't spawn on Friday. Isn't that just great, getting owned by some kid? But you can't do anything if I lock myself in with the works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohort's in the flower patch of the other one. Ha ha ha, in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Kerchunk. Now it looks like we have to go and find the other people. Oh shoot, wait a minute. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research on the turn first. This is as far as you will go. Research and folks can you put one on the fly metal for his phone? We're also can be stealing the energy the valley windmarks, but that is no concern to you. Okay, he pushes me out. I think I went to the wrong place. I think we go over here, actually. Yep, this place is unlocked now. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say, and Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract n n Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. It's a double battle, isn't it? Okay. Okay, I'm technically counting this as a Pokemon, so we've only we've already almost seen the Pidgey line, too. Oh my god. We're seeing a ton of evolution lines. This is why I'm going to be stuck as a grunt forever. This is so lame. They're going to dog my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort weakened you gives me the edge. What are you going to have, huh? I'm a champ. I saw him a choke earlier, so we're almost at the full Machop line. Easy. And a Charizard. I've already seen the whole Charizard line in this. Level 24, baby. Look at that. We're way over-leveled. Good thing in this generation, I think in the newer generations, they make it so 
any Pokemon won't obey you over the gym badge level. But I think in earlier generations, only traded Pokemon don't obey you. This part's tough. Like, really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, what's that? What's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me. You may have it as well. Thank you. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense, either. Oh, I need to thank you. This sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. I got the honey. So I saw that honey on a sweet-smelling tree. Yeah, I might attract a Pokemon. Can I get any items from here? Looks like I... I don't think... I think up there is where I can get items, but I can't reach that right now. Yeah, there's items up there. We don't need any items, we just need to take on Team Galactic still. I think we're about to face our first Team Galactic boss. Which may or may not be a smart choice with only a level 24 Farfetch, but you know. We don't make smart choices here now, do we? Use the works key, yes. No, no way, you have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Meanwhile, I'll go this way. No, nothing over here. Oh, yay, we can see on a bunch of Team Rocket, Team Galactic grunts. Oi, this is no fun in games. This is proper work, I tell ya. What are you gonna have, huh? Cranny dose. I remember seeing Rampardos before, which means that's another evolution line. <gasps> Quick Claw, yeah. This is gonna do nothing though. Okay, it did something. How many evolution lines are we gonna see in one series? There we go. What? Some brat messed up my job. Well, I am some brat. Well. Okay, I'll fight this trainer up here. Collecting energy from the Win Valley Windworks. That's our mission. I need to get as much experience as I can. Even if I were to get far-fetched to level 100. Well, we've seen the entire... Ride Rhyhorn line... In battles, at least. Yay! I did it. How'd that do less damage? Might have to use a potion after this. Wow. Leaving it on just the littlest bit of health. That's probably one health. But don't worry, I beat him. Rock types are really gonna give us a run for money. Mill tank. Technically not an evolution line, but I have seen the whole evolution line of mill tank. Did I miss? I missed, didn't I? Oh, good job, perfect. Oh, you still got a critical hit, though. I stand. I forgive you. We don't like kids who also happen to be tough trainers. We're fighting our first team galactic. Like, strong person. I'm one of the team galactic's three commanders. No, wait, that's one of the four commanders. My name's Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand it either, do you? It's a little saddening. 
So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If you win, I leave. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about winning. Mr. Mime! I saw a Mime Jr. in one of the caves earlier. So, chalk that up as another evolution line. Wow, we are seeing so many evolution lines in this one series. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? I'm taking them out, see? Boom. Hit one time. Level 25. If you flopped that around, it'd be 52. You know what? Actually, I'm going to learn this. And I'm going to keep it. I don't like using offensive move, defensive moves, but this might be a smart choice. Armaldo. Actually, remembered what this Pokemon was. I can never remember this Pokemon. Oh, since it's part bug type, it's effective. Not not very effective. Thank you. Oh no, it used a berry. Orange berry. That's fine. And we just beat our first ever Team Galactic Grunt, uh, Team Galactic Commander, with only a far fetched at level twenty five. This can't be. I lost you, you brat. Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. My, my, at least to a child, will you? But no matter. We've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me, Sharon. The genius even the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we should be going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. Guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. She still left anyway. Team Galactic, they were saying that they had to gather Pokemon energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. It's the girl we met earlier. Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Can I get a static encounter? Ooh, please be far-fetched. Please be far-fetched. I've never seen this static encounter before. Ah, yes. It is you, yes. I have heard that the G Team Galactic ha appeared at this power plant. I have, therefore, come running. So the Team Galactic, where are they? You have run them off, you see. You are a trainer, but very well. I shall go investigate again. Can I move? No, I can't. Magnificent. Yes, it is. What you have said, it's all true. Superb. Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. Very well, I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips that the Team Galactic hideout is in Eterna City. I too, to there, I must be off. Aw oh, man. The Drifloon didn't show up. Man, I've never seen that event happen before. Maybe since Looker was here, they didn't show up? Let me try leaving the building. No. Man. I wanted to see that event. Oh, and then we got a new route to check out. And we have to fight a trainer. Perfect. We might get through Eterna Forest and then end off the episode before our fifth or second gym matter. <gasps> it's me! I have a mighty in it. That's actually an okay Pokemon. If I would have had a far fetched, that would have been amazing. I would have been happy.
I'm a camper, though. That's weird. I don't, I don't really camp that much. Critical hit. I could have just used that, and it would have done damage. That really dampened my spirits. Ha. Huh. Good one, me. Any item over here? Let's see what our new Pokemon are. Mawile. The thing with the big mouth on its head. Anything up here? I think we have to go up here next, so... Alakazam. No, we haven't seen Kadabra or Abra. Can't add another evolutionary line yet. Ooh, mischievous. Have I seen a mismatch use before? I don't think I have. We'll do three more encounters and then we'll move on. Alakazam. I think at the point that he's in now, he would know no moves. So it'd be useful to get it'd be useless to get this Alakazam if I was doing a randomizer. Nuzlocke. Mischievous. And finally, what's our last encounter? It's a Tyrogue. Let's move on. I think we'll get to Eterna Forest, not through Eterna Forest. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. <laughs> here goes. I actually wonder what the Eterna Forest person's gonna have. Celio. Because it can be random. It's gonna be random. I can't believe Dawn had a far fetched. I thought she actually would have had Chimchar, but she had a far fetched. Minion, because she had Chimchar back in the catching tutorial, although I never randomized that, so that would have made sense. Critical hit. I'm going to get to level 26 after this battle. We're just climbing up the ranks. Squirtle! Don't like you that much. You're my least favorite of the Kanto starters. I know, I'm basic. I love Charizard, but Bulbasaur is really good too. Charizard and Venusaur, really good Pokemon. And did not get to level 26. Rose Instance, what does that do? I think that boosts grass type Pokemon. I have to go all the way down here. Boost the power of grass type moves. Let's go over here. What Pokemon are you gonna send out me? You gonna send out Farfetch'd? That's close. They're flying. And here is where I gain level 26. So I always, I wonder, if the Quick Claw lets you go first, if the other Pokemon has Quick Attack. And they use it. Because I've never done that before. I guess we won't find out. Exec- I found Executor last episode. So, Execute, there you go! Full evolution line. Can you guess how many more we're gonna find in this episode? I'm guessing like five more. Because we're about to head on to the next route. Oh, that's a trainer? You a trainer? You can't just jump out at me like that. Ambipom. 
This Pokemon has always been creepy. I hate this Pokemon. Although I just hate monkeys in general, which is why I hated Chimchar for the longest time. But, as you know, I've made my peace with Chimchar. Hmm. How about Slash? That's a critical hit. Nope, it didn't. Maybe it's level 27? I started at level 22, I'm pretty sure, in this episode. No, I can't remember that. I can't remember if I did not. I think that's level 23. I think it's level 27. That's four levels. I think that's the most I've ever gotten in one episode. I mean, it makes sense, seeing you know, as I'm doing a ton of battling in this episode. Let's just go past this trainer for now. Let's go over here and grab the item up here. Ooh, Glaceon. That's a cool Pokemon. Literally and figuratively. Whoops. Did not mean to run into you. You have a little punny. I haven't seen Baneri yet, so. Oh no, it's gonna live. I think it's gonna live either way. This shouldn't do that much damage. Yeah, it didn't do that much damage. And. it lived. Unfortunately, I don't have my Fury attack anymore to just do the last bit of damage. And it's gonna live. You're just wasting the battle. That literally did nothing. Wow, I overkilled it. You monster fetch. Heal powder, does that just heal my... Does that just heal status conditions? Can I go past you? Yes, I can. What's up here? Oh, there's a Pokeball up here. The wise glasses, what do those do? Do they make a Pokemon wiser? Slightly boost the power of special moves. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Summary. Air Lease is a physical move. Dang it. Wait, what? Air Cutter's a special move? I thought Air Lease was a special move. It wasn't. I think actually... This house over here can heal my Pokemon, I think. Is going to be tired the rest of the while? Yes, I will. Are you gonna give me anything? Pills are useful. I don't need to repel. Looks like you're not gonna give me anything. Let's continue. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Do I have to take you along? And you are. Okay, so your name is Doggo. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Doggo, may I ask a big favor of you? I wanna get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there are a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'd be safety in numbers. Please, might go with you. Well, I have to anyway. Well, I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. So, we're gonna leave and go fight those other trainers. But I just wanna do ten encounters here to see what we can get. Nothing. Ooh, she's got a Hitmonlee! That might be bad. If I'm trying to find a far-fetched here. Muffim and Girafferig. Oh my gosh. I found Burmy before. I found Burmy in an episode before. It's another evolution line. We're counting. Porygon. I found a Porygon 2, I think, earlier. And I found a... 
Togepi before earlier. So far, gained the Porygon and Togepi line. Of course, there'd be a Farfetch'd in there, wouldn't here? Wouldn't it be? Lantern, I found that earlier. In the earlier, but I guess I found it here too. Didn't find Chinchou though. I think this is encounter five. Okay, we're gonna move on since I've done at least ten encounters. Well, I haven't done ten encounters, but I've done ten. I've looked at ten Pokemon. Actually, we're gonna do one more while I'm here. Both Vile Plume. Beautiful. Now let's go fight those trainers back there. I will return. Don't worry. There's just a ton of trainers I have to fight here. Actually, there's just a few trainers I have to fight. In between episodes, like I said, I always will do. I'll go back and we'll find... We'll see if there's any more Pokemon that I missed. See if there's a far fetched I missed. If there is, we'll catch it. And then we'll have two far fetched on our team by next episode. If not, then that sucks. Level 27, we made it. Okay, you don't fight me anymore because I've already fought you. Lost my way here of all places. Well, I will show you to the Pokemon Center. Printplop! Not that good of a Pokemon. I'll use Slash. Can't rely on Aerial Ace to do everything for me. Is there any trainer down here I missed? Yes, I missed this trainer. And then we can move on. Actually, we can do a lot more in this episode, because we still got time. Camper Zachary has a Victory Bell. I saw a Victory Bell earlier. Well, it looks like I'm immediately going against my morals, and we're using... a flying move. Now, here's a challenge. Using Farfetch'd, but you can't use any flying moves. Yeah, that's something I'm never doing. <laughs> I'm not dumb. So I want to next either do a black and white series with Farfetch'd as a starter, or a Heart Gold and Soul Silver series as Farfetch'd with a starter. I think I want to do Heart Gold since it's my favorite Pokemon DS game of them all. Hello, we're we going together. We'll probably actually get through this forest. Hello? Are you a trainer? No, you're not, because you would have had to. Flame Warp, that sets Pokemon on fire! I don't need that. Hitmonlee and fetch. Oh no, Porygon's downloading. Illegal songs off the internet. Porgun, how could you? There's the moss stone. I forgot that it's in here. Although I don't see why it would need to be in here. I mean, you can't really get Eevee, I'm pretty sure, before this. And where's the ice stone? I've never found the ice stone before. Or the glacier stone? One of those two names? There's our first double battle where we have another friend with us. So at least I won't have to use Zubat. Okay, what do you have? You have a Porygon and a Jigglypuff. Well, I'll let you take on the Jigglypuff with a fighting move. I'll take on Porygon. There you go. You can take out the Jigglypuff with a K 
kick or something. Brick break. That's a punch. Or a leisurely swipe down. Oh, there's more. Oddish. Ooh, we only need to see Gloom now. And then we're done. With the Oddish line. How many Pokemon Evolution lines are we going to see? And you missed. Because there was no one there. Let's see. That's going to be a lot of experience. That should probably get me to level 28, maybe. Yes. Good job, Hitmonlee. You did it. Level 28, that's five levels in one episode. And we are way over-leveled. But that's just gonna have to be how it is for this challenge. Carbos. Ooh, that... Up something. I might actually use those items, seeing as... No, I know there's a thing you can do... Where you only fight one trainer at a time, but I'm gonna fight them both at a time. Because I feel like it, and I have a pretty good Pokemon, and we're not doing a Nuzlocke, so why worry about it? Chata and Salamence. Chata! Ooh, I remember you from our last series. You were the best. Wait, wait, hold on. Why is Aerial Ace a physical move, but Air Cutter not? That's weird, it feels like it should be the other way around. Oh no, don't take out Hitmonlee. Oh no, who is he attacking? Hitmonlee. Can I take it out with a critical hit? No, I didn't. Hitmonlee, what are you doing? Why are you not attacking? Chatot, stop it. Hey, Monty, you successfully did nothing. Well, actually, you did do something. Ooh, I think in this generation, Chatter... Ah! Uh, okay, okay, you can stop that. I think in this generation, Chatter actually... works in the way of... you can say something into your microphone, it would actually repeat it out through Chatter. I might, if I find a Chatter, I might actually test that out. Uh, but then I'd have to use an attack in battle. Uh, that'd be breaking the rules. It'd be worth it, though. It'd be really worth it, though. Because I've never done it before. Revival Herb! <gasps> That's an awesome item to have. I will take that. And I will keep it. And I will treasure it. What do you have against me, huh? You have five Pokemon. Magby and Cherum. Okay, you go for the Magni. I go for... Well, I take them out both. I've seen a lot of that move playing through Sword and Shield raids. And it does damage to both. Well, look at that. Brick Break had no target. I am so sorry. Okay. I'll make a deal with you. You attack that Soul Rock, and I will attack Butterfree. Can we make that a deal? Is that a good deal? Level 29? Let's go. Good job. I should still do a lot of damage. Ooh, I didn't take it out, though. <gasps> no, no, not me. Ah. Uh. Not me. This will be the longest episode we've done so far. 
It's because I want to clear out the trainers of Eterna Forest. So I don't have two in between episodes. Shell us. I saw a Gastrodon earlier. That's another evolution line. Good, good job. We're just doing great filling up the Pokedex. I think if I wanted to see every Pokemon, I'm doing really great about that. Capture them all. Fortunately, I couldn't catch that Shellos because that would be cheating. That would make me a thief, and I already had to do that multiple times last episode. Hello, Swine, and a Mothim. Remember, Mothim was one of those evolutionary lines that we found. Right here, Nest Ball. Ooh, that's great for catching Bug-type Pokemon and water, I think. Or is that a Net Ball? Fion! A legendary... Mythical, not legendary. Remember Fion from the last series when we had to save Manaphy? Although this might not actually come out before Mystery Dungeon, I don't know. I have no clue when this is coming out. We might do Mystery Dungeon first, we might not. Or they might be going out side by side, because I've already recorded the entirety of Mystery Dungeon, but I don't know if this series is coming out beforehand. Or if I want to do them side by side with Mystery Dungeon. I might do it side by side with Mystery Dungeon. But both series are recorded. Tropius! Ooh, that's a cool Pokemon. I'll take out Tropius. Well, I might do damage to both. Should I kill it? Nope, it didn't kill it. Him on the... Why do you do this to me? Why do you make me rhyme all the time? Huh, you think that's gonna do anything? I'll take you out before you can even attack. Boom. Get owned. Am I gonna level up to level 30? Level 30, level 30. Close. I'm probably really close. Okay, let's see. Anything over here? I'm getting there. We're getting close. Porygon's movement was just weird. It looked like he had to, like, stretch his neck. It looked like it hurt. Out of the forest yet, actually? We might be up here. I think, as far as I'm concerned, this might be the most levels we'll ever get in one episode. Ooh, an item up here. I hate those items. I really hate the X items so much. And Rat of the Forest. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Doggo. This is a token of my appreciation. Please accept it. We got a second Sooth Bell. And goodbye. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere. Bye for now. Actually, there's a pond in this next town. Oh, there's a route. We'll do ten encounters. Or a few encounters. I don't know how many we'll do. We'll do ten encounters, and then I'll check the rest in between episodes. We got close to level 30. Typhlosion. Have we seen any of the other ones? Meowth. That's another normal type. We're getting closer. With every route, we get closer. And there we go. We saw Chin Chow. That's another evolution line.
Good job. We're doing good. Yen Mega, we actually haven't seen Yen, though. I think that's four encounters. We have five, six more left. If I can get an encounter. And Mega. It's nothing good. Although if I had again, Mega, I would use it because I think it has speed boost. Number six. Golbat, we're almost seeing the entire evolution line of Zubat. Really, in our Pokedex, it's like of the Pokemon we've seen. Some of them are scattered out a little bit, and then we just have evolution lines. That's seven. And I think we just need to see one more Pokemon than we've seen all the Pokemon on this route. So I think there's only six in a route that you can find. Eight. Yeah, I'll do the fishing counter off episode. See what fishing stuff we can get here. Nine. That's it for this. Well, actually, one more. We'll go see if there's anything up here. Or if there's just nothing up here, and then we'll end off this episode. Typhlosion, number 10. So we still have one more Pokemon to see in this route. Wonder who it's going to be? Was there an item up here? Shoal Salt. What does that even do? I have no clue what that even does. But it looks like we found everything that we can without moving on. And completing more story stuff. So yeah. That's it for today's episode. I'll give it one more item. That's it for today's episode of Pokemon Platinum Randomized Farfetch'd Run. In the next episode, we will hopefully be taking on Eterna City Gym, which would be our second gym. So far, with only a Farfetch'd at level 30. Well, level 29 right now. It's extremely salty. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hold on, let me do a save state, just in case my tablet decides to break on me. And I'll see you guys next time.